Hi, my name is John Saunders. I am the founder and lead investigator in Holton Hills Paranormal Group. The group is actually called Holton Hills Spiritual Ghost Hunters. I started the group in 2011 and I've had many interesting things happen while I was ghost hunting or doing paranormal investigations whichever you prefer to call it. I had, let me see, I started the group because of personal experiences. I noticed why most people start them. Some people start them because they just, you know, want to try to, you know, want to try the TV thing and think maybe that they can get on TV. Think that they, maybe they can, you know, become famous or something. And that's where they lose their way, a lot of the groups. Me personally, I've done it because I want to, I help people by doing it. And I learn more as I go. I learn myself more each time I do it. Every time I go somewhere, be it an old cemetery, a newer cemetery, an old abandoned, old abandoned homes, or, you know, newer, new homes or places that people live. I love to do it. I do it because I enjoy it. I love it. I don't just do it as a hobby. I do it because I enjoy doing it. I don't ask anybody for any money from it or anything like that. I just do it because I want to do it. There are a lot of groups out there. There is especially one group in Halton Hills, in the Halton Hills area that they started their group in 2011 also. And the thing is, usually in this, in that, they're supposed, technically are supposed to help each other's group out, right? Everybody is, you know, not, you know, like probably tell, if you ask, you know, where such and such a place is, they'll tell you, you know, but there's one group here that will not help you at all. They're just in it for themselves and they're in it for the fame, to think that they can get famous and be like ghost adventurers or ghost hunters or something like that there. But, you know, I disagree with that philosophy 100% right from the get-go. As soon as I asked, because I asked them a little tiny favor, like back two years ago maybe, and I never got, I got a reply, but it wasn't the one I wanted. So I basically don't have anything to do with them at all now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I do ghost hunting on my own by myself. I know technically you're not supposed to, but I do it on my own. I have, I don't ask anybody for any help. I, if I want to go to a cemetery, I go. If I want to go to an old abandoned home, I go. If somebody calls me and asks me for help or asks me or emails me or texts me or leaves it on my website and asks me for help, <clears throat> I'm more than happy to go help them. You know, and, but I had to stop this summer for, I had to stop the beginning of August and I haven't been ghost hunting since for paranormal investigating because I had to have major spinal surgery. I had a crack in L5, so the doctor had to fix the surgeon at Sunnybrook General, at Sunnybrook in Toronto, Canada, had to fix that, he had to try to fix that. And he had to fuse L5 and S1 together, and he had to fuse L4 and L5 together. Now, that surgery was like, I never had surgery before. That was my first surgery. And I never want to go through it again. Like, even now after the surgery, I had the surgery August 5th, this December 25th, 2015 now. I get up in the, when I wake up in the morning, it's just like someone hit me in the back with a baseball bat. Every day, it's the same thing. I have to use a cane now. But, that's still not going to stop me from doing what, doing what I, what I love to do. You know, and a lot of people think about, okay, they bring religion into it. A lot of, some people do. And there's, some people bring, you know, they, they don't agree with it. That's their choice. Everybody has freedom of choice. Now, me, personally, my, my religious beliefs are 
amatheistic Satanists. Now, uh, I worship Satan. Satan is my God. Period. Now, there are a lot of people out there in groups that, not, you know, not only in groups, but there are a lot of people out there that don't see how I fit that in with my paranormal investigator. I do, because the thing is, is it brings me closer to the veil between the living and the dead. Like there's a thin veil that we can't see. And if you're in tune with spirituality, stuff like that, you know that and you feel it. Now, I've been, you know, given gifts, you know, spiritual gifts. You know, I don't like to come on here and brag about them like some people do and all that there. I keep it personal. You know, I come on, I do my thing, I go in someone's home, I do my thing, and that's it. I come out, you know, hopefully with good results. You know, if they want their house cleansed, I'll clean, cleanse their house. If they want whatever is there, if it is harmful and they want it gone, I get try to get rid of it for them. If they want to want to keep it there, whether it be a ghost or whatever, I do that. I let it just let it stay if it's not harmful. But now there there are a lot of people that just can't stand the fact that there is, especially there's if one person for sure that hates the fact that there is another paranormal group in the Halton region. Now I joined up with the group a couple of years, like back in 2011, early 2012, and it was a total disaster because we did a home in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, and I gave them my information after the investigation. They were supposed to give me theirs so I could review it. I gave them mine to review and they were supposed to do the same. They didn't do the same. They never gave me it at all. They even took my EVP recorder and deleted everything off of it. Like a full night's worth of work. Gone. I never received nothing after. So I said, I'm done. Done with you. And then I went on my own. And I've been on my own since. Now, would I love to be to have somebody else to go go something with that truly wants to do it? Yes, I would. I would love to. But it's just so hard to get people devoted to doing it. Like a lot of people will say, yes, I will. Then when they realize how much work is involved, they don't want anything to do with it. Which really sucks in a lot of ways. Because there is a lot of work to it. Like you have to listen to your... Okay, just after, during the, after the investigation, when you're going over all the material, you have pictures that you have to go, photos, pictures that you have to go, over. you have video that you have to review, and you have EVP recordings that you have to do. And that takes time, especially if you're by yourself doing it. It takes a lot of time. And you gotta review it like maybe five or six times just in case you miss something, right? So that is good in that way. Now, I just started up a website. I don't have any pictures on there yet. I, only a couple. I haven't got anything serious on there yet, but I will. And it's on, uh, it's just Halton Hill, www.haltonhillsspiritualghosthunters.yolo.com. And you can also find us on Facebook, Google, uh, YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel. Uh, so I would just like to say that 2016 or 15 had lots of trials for me, very serious trials. But so far I made it through and now I'm working on looking forward to 2016, which hopefully will be a good year. I'm hoping it will. And it looks good so far. So I just want to say, let you know, this is my first video, my first video that I ever done. So I don't know how it will turn out. I don't know if it will be good, bad, whatever, but I'm hoping it will be good. So I would like for, to wish everybody, you know, safe holidays, happy 2016, if I don't get back to you by then. Happy 2016 and wish you all the best and hope that 
2016 is a great year for you and that during the halt during 2016 the one the people that are paranormal investigators that they will find what they're looking for you know they will have lots of everything you can think of that is good in that way so thank you and be safe and talk real soon my name is John by the way um, enjoy yourself but be safe thank you